The original frequencies were once used in ancient Gregorian chants, such as the great hymn to John the Baptist, as well as several others that church authorities said were lost centuries ago. During religious masses, these chants were sung to impart tremendous spiritual blessings when sung in harmony. There are six frequencies to the entire track. The first frequency is used to liberate your guilt and fear. The second frequency is used to undo situations and facilitate change. The third frequency is used to perform repair on your DNA to initiate transformation and miracles. The subfagial ascension frequencies are guaranteed to work. For example, the third frequency, frequency 528, relates to the Mi note and derives from the phrase Mi Rajastorum, which in Latin means miracle. It is this exact frequency used by genetic biochemists to repair broken DNA. The Catholic Church presumably lost these original chants. The chants were based on the ancient original scale of six musical notes called the Selfagio. It was a transparent attempt to hide these incredibly powerful chants so none of the masses could energize their soul. It was all about control and concealment to prevent people from gaining the amazing benefit of these frequencies.
All music in our contemporary world has been composed utilizing the 12 tone equal temperament scale and contain vibrational limits. These limited vibrational frequency tones of modern music can create situations of thinking inside the box, so to speak. They create suppressed emotions and consciousness containing fear, which work to manifest into physical symptoms of disease. The ancient Selfagio Ascension Frequency stimulates the vibration of expanded creativity, easier problem solving, and holistic health. It should be understood that these Selfagio Frequencies currently available are not at the same frequencies as the ancient tones. However, research indicates that the vibrational frequencies contained in the Selfagio tones hold these original healing potentials. The fourth frequency is used to enable connection and relationships. The fifth frequency is used to awaken your intuition. And finally, the sixth frequency is used to help you return to spiritual order. Yeni coined the term cymatics from the Greek for wave for this branch of study. Ernst Klotny, an 18th century musician and physicist, he spread sand on metal plates and played them with a violin bow. The vibrations from the bow caused the sand to gather into beautiful geometric forms. The sand is pushed from areas where the vibration is strongest and collects where it is the weakest, forming patterns that correspond to the particular tone that is applied to the plate. The higher the frequency applied, the more complex and detailed is the pattern that results. Under controlled conditions, these forms are repeatable. After an intense interest with Kolotny's sound figures, Alexander's focus switched to water, whose fluid properties make it especially responsive to sound. Sound, understood as a force of creation, is a theme found in the traditions of many cultures. In Hindu culture, the entire way and course of the world is imagined in the dance of the deity Shiva Nataraja, the vibrations of his drum stirring the face of the primordial ocean of creation. In the Judeo-Christian tradition, the word of God summons form from the void. The very structure of sound as a waveform, a succession of opposite states, brings to mind the rhythms of life and the universe as expressed in inhalation and exhalation, expansion and contraction, night and day, and the Buddhist concept of yin and yang.